In this video, we are talking about this machine right here, the Xtool F1 Ultra, and I'm going to share five projects that you can make with this machine. Let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You are watching Creative Ramblings. We talk a lot about lasers on this channel. I have shared the F1 Ultra with you before. I really like this laser. So if you wanna go more in depth than anything I touch on today, I probably have another video on it for you. I will link that down in the description. So today I am gonna share with you five projects you can make specifically with this laser. Now, most of these projects you could probably do with other machines, but what I like about the F1 Ultra is there is a lot here. There are actually two lasers inside of here, a bunch of accessories, and having this all in one machine is really beneficial. And you're gonna see that in some of the projects that we do. So let me give you a quick overview of what this is. So this is a dual laser from Xtool. It is a vertical machine, so it's got a pretty small footprint. I wouldn't necessarily call it portable because it's very heavy. However, you could set this up in a shop or in a small space and use it to personalize things. Inside here are two lasers. You have a 20 watt diode and a 20 watt fiber. The lasers are stationary. They, they sit right here in this top part. They physically do not move, but the light beam will go back and forth over whatever you place on the working area down below. That is called a Galvo style laser and it makes it really, really fast. A light beam can go back and forth much quicker than a physical laser can go back and forth. This one behind me here, this is the Xtool S1. It is a diode laser that I love very much. That is a gantry style laser. So that means that the physical laser head moves back and forth over an X and Y axis and you put your material underneath it. It's a fantastic machine, it works really well, but it is much slower than something like this. So you've got two lasers in there. You also have accessories like a rotary, which we're gonna look at in a minute, and a conveyor to help you do long items or batch process really quickly. So there are some really cool things that you can do with this uh, because you have all of that built in. It eliminates the need for you to have multiple machines. With the accessories and the dual lasers, you can do a lot. I love this as an all-in-one machine and that's why I wanna show you these projects today. So the projects we're going to look at take advantage of the unique features that the F1 Ultra offers. So let's get into project number one. So this is a slate coaster and you can engrave slate coasters with the diode laser on here. You can engrave slate coasters with all kinds of lasers. But what we're gonna do with the F1 Ultra is use the fiber laser to emboss this, to make a really, really deep engraving. And since this is a coaster and I want it to be usable, I'm just gonna do a little embossment in the corner to add some decoration. So let me show you how to do that in XCS. Here we are in Xtool Creative Space and my F1 Ultra is connected, the little green light is on, so we're good to go there way up on top where it says process on flat surface. I'm gonna click on that and I get a bunch of different options. The F1 Ultra is really versatile. There is a lot you can do. We've got rotary attachments, we've got conveyors, screen printers, all kinds of things. I am going to choose embossment. And if this is new to you, I am gonna do just kind of an overview here. I do have other videos on this or you can always click on this right here and Xtool is gonna go more in depth here. Embossing is a different beast than just engraving. So let's start up here on material. I have rock chosen, which is the slate coaster. We're gonna confirm that. Then we're gonna auto measure and refresh the image to take a picture of the coaster. Now you cannot emboss just any image. You have to have something called a depth map. So there's a couple different ways to do this. If you already have a depth map and you know what that is, you can bring in your own image using this button here. You can also go to AI Make and for a few credits, you can create, you can turn your own image or have AI create you an image that is a depth map. The other thing you can do if you just wanna test this out is we can go into the shapes area here and there are some embossment depth maps already created right here for you to test out. So I'm gonna use this rooster. 
And I really just want to stick it in this corner. Again, I want the coaster to kind of be flat so that we can still use it to place a drink on it, but just put this cute little decoration in the corner. I like the settings that come with this. You can adjust your settings, but I am using the fiber laser reference, and this is what I'm getting. The number of la layers is the amount of times that that fiber laser is going to go over the coaster. We have a power and speed, we have lines, and then we have an angle here. So unless you've done a lot of these and you know what you wanna change, I would start with the recommended settings, see how it turns out, then you can tweak from there. Uh, we can frame it, use that framing option to see exactly where it is. That looks good to me. Down here next to process, there's these three little dots. I am going to turn on this evade smoke toggle. This is going to help uh, just get the best engraving I can without a lot of smoke. There is going to be smoke created for this. There's a lot of smoke and a lot of dust. This seems to help. From here, we can go to process. We're looking at about 11 minutes, not too bad. Let's hit start, make sure ventilation is all hooked up appropriately, and then hit the button on the F1 Ultra. All done, this does create a lot of dust and my fan is still running. So I'm just gonna brush some of this off. Look how cool that is. The next thing we're going to engrave is this pen right here. This is actually a wood pen. It's just a metal insert with a bamboo outside. I'll link where I got these down below. So we can use the diode portion of this machine. If you get in the business of engraving pens, you can also go to metal or silicone pens. And for those metal pens, you can use the fiber laser in this machine. So if you're gonna go down the road of pens, a dual laser is great to have because you have all the possibilities to do all different kinds of pens. So this one sits nicely in the machine like this because it's got this little piece here to hold it kind of the clip on the pen, it holds it in place. So I'm gonna put this right underneath those red and blue dots, make sure they're overlapping, and then we can go to XCS. We are back in XCS. I have cleared the background here, but we need to change some settings. So instead of embossment, we need to go back to processing on a flat surface, and then I can auto measure and take a picture of the pen. Next, I need to pick my material. These are bamboo pens. Now, notoriously, bamboo has a lot of graining in it, so not every result is going to come out exactly the same, but we're gonna do the best we can here. So I'm just going to add some text and then zoom in so I can place it exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to use the blue light, which it defaults to, that's the diode laser, because this is wood. It's set to engrave, and I'm actually gonna go with their recommended settings, a power of 75 and a speed of 500. Before I go any further, I want to frame it out and make sure that rectangle is exactly where I want it. All right, I'm liking where that's at, so let's go ahead and process. This should be a really, really quick engrave here. That took exactly 10 seconds, and I have a beautiful engrave. One of my favorite things about a Galvo-style laser like the F1 Ultra is that it goes so fast. The laser doesn't have to move back and forth over it. It can easily just uh, kind of angle back and forth. And I got this in 10 seconds. So you could batch these out and make a ton of pens in no time. 
the F1 Ultra allows you to engrave on a curved surface, like this wooden bowl right here. I have engraved the inside and the engraving goes all the way up the sides. You could also engrave on something like a small bead. You could engrave on a metal flask or anything that has a little bit of a curve to it. I have an entire video on how to engrave on a curved surface like this using the F1 Ultra. And I love this bowl. I use it all the time. I love the little graphic on the inside. So I'm gonna link that video here, but just know that you can engrave on a curved surface using either the diode or the fiber with the F1 Ultra. A fiber laser is great for doing any kind of metal jewelry, especially really small pieces like this, because this can go really fast and really detailed. So if I want to bulk create a bunch of jewelry, this is gonna get done in about three seconds to just put something small on the bottom there. Roughly three seconds later, we have a cute little engraving on the bottom of a metal necklace. This is rose gold stainless steel. The fiber laser goes really fast on necklaces like this. It is excellent for jewelry, but you could also switch between the diode and do some other type of maybe wood jewelry that you want to engrave. So having the F1 Ultra allows you to do both and put your designs on all kinds of jewelry. You can actually engrave in color with this laser too. So I have a full video on how to do, let's say a whole bunch of bows on here in different colors. I will link that right up above so you can take a look at how to engrave in color using the fiber laser on the F1 Ultra. The F1 Ultra also has a rotary attachment making it even more versatile. So we can take tumblers like this and attach them to the chuck. There are also rollers that go on here. So you can do all kinds of cylinders like this. You can even do the big tumblers. You could switch these out and do something small like a ring. And you can engrave with either the blue light, the diode, or the fiber. So the diode's gonna work really well on a coated aluminum tumbler like this. But if I was doing a very small ring in bare metal, I could use the fiber laser on here to engrave that too. So let's put a cute little graphic on this tumbler. I have already measured the perimeter of this. It's about 230 centimeters, excuse me, millimeters, 230 millimeters. I'm gonna place this in here, tighten everything up, make sure it's level, and then we can go over to XCS. I do have a whole video on how to use the rotary on the F1 Ultra if you wanna go a little more in depth than this. Here we are in Xtool Creative Space and up on top I need to choose the appropriate rotary. So there is the one with the rollers and then there's one we have which is called the chuck. Now we need to enter the perimeter and with this drop down menu you can either, either choose diameter or perimeter. I measured the perimeter so that's what I'm going to enter. Then we can auto measure and refresh that background. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see everything here. Now with the F1 Ultra or any of the F-Series machines, you can really only engrave on the part of the tumbler that is under that green protective area. So just really this square. So I couldn't do a full wrap from top to bottom on this one, but I'm gonna put a logo right on the front or a design right on the front that kind of wraps around. So I'm gonna bring in that design going to make it a compound vector so everything comes together and then I want to position this below the green line. There is really only one recommended setting when you choose your material and I'm going to choose blue light because diode is going to work better on a coated tumbler than the fiber. And I get the settings of about 85% power and a speed of 300. The lines are sitting at about 200. I have done a lot of tumblers at this setting. Make sure you run some tests. Expect your first one not to be perfect, but these are some really good settings to start with. So I'm all framed out. I am ready to go. Let's hit process. And because the shield of the F1 Ultra is not down all the way. I'm going to be sure to wear my safety glasses to protect my eyes from the laser. Got my ventilation hooked up and let's hit start. Tumbler is all done. I think that whole process took about eight minutes. Just going to loosen it up and this is what we've got. So 
I like to wipe these down with rubbing alcohol just to get any of that soot out of there and bring the dark silver metal through. It's a good amount of dirt that comes off of that. That came out super cute. Now, I was a little rushed and I didn't think through centering it on here. I was just framing. Uh, that is what your framing is for. I could have easily done that and I did not, but super cute little ghost. You can do this on all different color of tumblers. I actually got these in a four pack. They come in a bunch of different colors. So the rotary is super versatile with the F1 Ultra. Again, you can do these coated tumblers with the diode or you can turn to that fiber and do metal pieces. We made five projects all taking advantage of the unique features of the F1 Ultra. What I really like about this machine is how much you can do with one machine. I also love that I can engrave something like this, like this pen. This is bamboo, this is wood. I don't need a fiber laser to engrave this. I can engrave this with any diode. I could put this in my S1 over here and I could engrave this easily, it would come out really nice. The benefit of the F1 Ultra is that we did this pen in seconds. That is what makes this machine so special is that it is really, really fast and I can engrave wood with a diode just like everything else. But without having to switch modules, I can go to a bare metal and engrave a necklace in three seconds. I think that's what it took to make this, three seconds. And I can do that all on one machine. Not to mention the ability to do curved surfaces, to do rotaries, to have that conveyor, to do the deep embossment on slate. There are just so many things you can do with one machine. So if you are finding that you want to do all kinds of different projects, this might be the right machine for you because it has so much versatility, you can do so much, and you can add on to it. So you could add that rotary and that conveyor buy it as a bundle or you can add it down the road. So I hope these five projects gave you an idea of what this machine can do. If you wanna learn more about the F1 Ultra, take a look at the other videos that I have on this machine. I am gonna link them down below for you. I will also link the most up-to-date sales or deals that are happening on the Ultra right now. I will have that listed down below. If there's anything else that I did not cover, any of other questions that you have on this machine, please leave them in the comments. I would love to chat with you. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm here every week with new videos helping you move forward in your creative journey. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.